Hi, hello everyone. A very warm good afternoon to all my dear bachcha log. So tell me, how are you all doing? कैसे चल रहा है? Okay. So everyone, जल्दी से जल्दी, please do fill in the chat box and do tell me how you are doing. In the meanwhile, I'll be telling you what we are going to do in today's session. Okay. So what we are going to do? I think you all might have gone through the title. This is the second session for our chapter of oscillation, and we'll be trying to complete. as many topics as possible from this particular chapter of oscillation so don't miss it right the class is going to be at least for 2 hours so don't miss it we'll be covering lot and lot and lot many topics and i want every one of you to hear because this is a very bit uh, important chapter and at the same time a bit tough also koi baat nahi we'll make it super easy okay now let me look into the chat box and uh, let me see what is happening here hi brewster hi acquire knowledge great me to bilkul badhiya brewster thank you so much for asking uh vishaga good afternoon aditya okay so good afternoon and hi to every one of you i think all of you are doing super good and great now if you are seeing me for the very first time this is uh, amir your physics educator at an academy and a bit of introduction about myself i hope you all can see it on the screen right i have an experience of more than 3 and a half years in the field of teaching je neet and uh, board student i am a beta graduate from nit calicut in mechanical engineering and uh, this is all about me more about me you will come to know when uh, you keep on uh, being in my classes right okay while we keep on interacting you will come to know more about me now if you don't want to miss any of the updates uh, from this uh, youtube theek hai you can be a part of the telegram channel the link is given here and in the description box okay what is bugs bounty bro chalo are it's an amazing program to help you grab lot many prizes as much as possible do you know what you have to do you just have to go to the description there you will find a form fill the form if you are finding any inappropriate content in the videos uploaded by an academy and uh, if those uh, information is valid bahut sara prizes mil jayega aap logo ko so yes now but chalo i am just going to introduce you some of the awesome super cool super great features of an academy in the meanwhile if you are uh, new here and if you want your friends also to be a part of this class you can share the class to all your friends and ask them to join as soon as possible theek hai dekh le now uh, regarding the plus subscription if you make a plus subscription you will be given unlimited access to all the courses top educators of the country is going to be there study materials practice tests live test series now if you go for 12 months it should cost you 1250 per month and uh, obviously you would love to have 10 percentage of discount right so use a code of amb10 get 10 percentage of discount and have an amazing life Now here we have iconic subscription in iconic you will be given all the features of plus plus some extra features such as personal mentor he'll be taking care of all your academic planning so you don't have to worry anything about that after uh, this person is assigned to you then uh, live doubt solving classes mera bachcha log weekly report to aa jayega theek hai so if you go for all these super great features of 12 months it should cost you 2333 and as we all know we love to have discount right that's why love to give you my referral code of amb10 use it get 10 percentage of discount and maximum offers offer chal raha hai only for the first 500 subscribers right uh, for the first 12 months of uh, subscription or if you go for subscription more than that you will be given extra 2 months wow awesome so don't miss your chance theek hai so here we are right in the second lecture of our simple harmonic motion though we are in the second lecture so still now we have and uh, explain what is a simple harmonic motion and that is exactly what is going to happen right now matlab we'll be explaining what is simple harmonic motion theek hai and lot many things related to simple harmonic motion i just want uh, to know that whether you all are ready for the session or not aap sab log ready hai kya i am super ready for this lakshman good afternoon Good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon okay welcome to the class radhe radhe hi mayank yes acquire knowledge yes neeti sri yes jatin yes uh, okay so everyone is ready now if we make a very quick uh, recap of what we have learned okay what all topics we have completed we have uh, completed the topic of what is an uh, 
uh, periodic motion right okay then we have seen what is an oscillation right we have seen what is an oscillation and vibration is car relationship here yeah. and we also have seen what is time period what is frequency relationship between angular frequency and normal frequency relationship between angular frequency and time period all these things is being discussed not just that if a particle is making i say oscillatory motion and a zoom 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 we have seen how to find out the displacement made by that particular particle so we have done all these things but still now i have not explained you right what is simple harmonic motion so shall we get into that okay dekhle everyone listen to me here this is a from here or from this particular uh, lecture onwards we are getting into the core of this particular chapter theek hai fine now everyone write the heading s h m ye naya topic kya hai sir are short form for simple harmonic motion theek hai dekh le we know what is an oscillatory motion right matlab a to and fro motion jum 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 wala motion about an mean or a mean or an equilibrium position we call it an oscillatory uh, motion right we already have discussed right special kind of an oscillatory motion is called as a simple harmonic motion right a simple category or a simple kind of oscillatory motion we call it as simple harmonic motion because the topic of oscillatory motion is very wide there is a lot many things are there to be discussed on the topic of oscillatory motion we are not taking the oscillatory motion as such for studying in this particular chapter we'll be taking only the simplest form of oscillatory motion which is having the name of simple harmonic motion theek hai yeah now let's see when can we call an oscillatory motion as a simple harmonic motion theek hai once again our question is when can we say a given oscillatory motion as simple harmonic motion okay everyone let us take at uh, simple example that common example which uh, we take all the time in order to explain that uh, oscillatory motion what was it yes spring and mass system hai na so we have the spring let's say at the end we are connecting it to the mass okay now let's say this is the equilibrium position i'll draw it here this is the equilibrium position theek hai and this is the initial length of the spring and uh, do you know what i'm going to do okay i'm going to use all my force and i'm going to pull the mass towards right matlab i'm going to stretch the spring are wa sir aap bahut bada kaam kiya hai okay dekh le so by applying some external force on this particular mass i am going to extend or i am going to stretch the spring to some displacement of x from the mean or the equilibrium position okay fine now tell me the moment i remove uh, the external force acting on this particular mass what will happen yes the mass will be pulled towards the equilibrium position and you know that that mass will be undergoing that so, uh oscillatory motion right okay tell me what is the reason right the moment we remove the external force right the mass is coming towards the equilibrium position who is bringing this mass from this particular position towards the equilibrium position very very simple dekh le when the mass is at the right end position right the spring is stretched when the spring is stretched a force will be produced inside the spring we call it as spring force or the restoring force and its duty is to take back the spring to its equilibrium position matlab the spring will be giving a force on this mass towards left and that force is responsible for taking the mass from the right extreme position towards the equilibrium position okay how many of you do remember this formula for spring force how many of you do remember spring force ka formula kya tha if it is being stretched to a displacement of x formula was k into x the spring force that will be acting on this mass when there is a stretching length of x is equal to kx but you have to know that this is displacement is towards right hai na dekh le the spring is stretched towards right or x value is positive okay what about the spring force and it is towards left so in order to represent the direction of spring force we will be putting a negative sign with the formula 
मतलब देख ले आई गोना राइट द स्प्रिंग फोर्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस के एक्स इज इट फाइन Is it fine? Okay. Force can be written as what? Mass into acceleration is equal to minus k x. मतलब देख ले, acceleration is equal to minus k by m into x. What did we get here? We got that the acceleration with which the mass will be moving towards the equilibrium position is equal to minus k by m into x, or acceleration is proportional to. What did we get? We got that the acceleration is directly proportional to minus of x. Is ka matlab kya? It means that more the amount of displacement, more will be the acceleration. And this negative sign tells that the direction of acceleration is always towards the equilibrium position. Matlab the spring will always be pulling that mass towards the equilibrium position, and that is the negative sign shows. And this itself is the condition for any oscillatory motion to be an, to be an what? To be an simple harmonic motion. What are the condition? First condition is. Acceleration's magnitude should be directly proportional to the magnitude of uh, displacement. Second thing is, it should be in the opposite direction of displacement, or it should be towards the equilibrium position. If these two conditions are being satisfied, we can call a given oscillatory motion as a simple harmonic motion. Simple as that. Hi, Pooja. Hi, Sumit. Good evening. Good afternoon. Let's say it's only two two o'clock, right? Is this clear? Is this clear, Marwajalu? Is it clear? Jaldi bata. Uh, late comers. Uh, let's see. Okay, at the end of the class, we'll uh, think about some punishment for those late comers. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, yes, समझ में आ गया क्या? When can we call an oscillatory motion as a simple harmonic motion? When two conditions are being satisfied. When acceleration का magnitude proportional to the magnitude of displacement and negative sign shows the direction of acceleration is opposite to the direction of displacement. Fine. Crystal clear. The Panchu. Hi. Got it. Right. Okay. Now this is the basic condition for any particle to undergo simple harmonic motion. Okay, so whenever there appears any question, ठीक है, any theoretical question, let's say they are asking you, let's say in your board exam, it's going to be theoretical subjective exam, है ना? So in the exam they will be asking you what is the condition for any particle to be an SHM motion. Just check whether the acceleration is uh, proportional to minus x. If it is so, we can say that the given oscillatory motion is such a motion. समझ में आ गया? Right? So above is the condition for uh, the particle to be such a. ठीक है? So with the thought that you all have noted down and understood on the concept, and no doubts are there, we are going to do a short to nano problem. Nano nano problem आ गया. Okay? So start reading the question in the best way possible and give me the answer. <clears throat> it's money, sir. मुझे भी दोगे punishment. हाँ 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 बिल्कुल. ठीक है. Let this uh, class be known for uh, as punishment का class. <laughs> okay. Let me see who is going to be the first person who gives the answer correct answer for this. Right, uh, those people will be exempted from uh, giving punishments or getting punishment. <clears throat> Jaldi, anyone? Answers? Uh, Miara is going for the option A. Obviously, you are going to be getting a very good, great punishment. It's wrong. Directly, I actually. Removed and uh, Vishaga, very good. B, I guess you don't have to guess. Yes, it is correct answer, Vishaga. Awesome. Let's see, right? Okay. Now, a particle undergoing simple harmonic motion is given by the displacement is given by zero point zero one. 
sign i'm going to write it at the bottom 100 pi inside the bracket t plus 0 0.05 okay great where uh, x is in meters t is in second question is the time period in second is okay time period kitna hota hai for that we should be knowing right what is the basic equation for any particle for uh, uh, oscillatory motion or to undergo an SHF what is the basic formula yes it is a sine omega t plus phi isn't this a basic formula for any particle undergoing uh, oscillatory or SHF motion yes now here you can see that whatever is a coefficient of time that will be corresponding to omega do you agree with me on that yes so check in the above equation for shm what is the coefficient of time time is being multiplied with what they clear outside the bracket we have 100 pi so 100 pi t it is actually so 100 pi which is the coefficient of time will be acting as amara omega so omega ka value will get 100 pi are omega will make about time period we all know what is the formula 2 pi divided by omega that is 2 pi divided by omega is 100 pi. Pi pi cancels 2 by 100 that is 0 0.02 and the correct answer is option B. Uh -huh. Today there are so many late comers, right? Mithilesh. So is it clear? Now nobody wants to make a guess, okay? With a complete confidence you can tell that this is the answer. Can't you all do that? So whenever you get uh, questions uh, or formulas like this, always compare it with the general formula of that particular motion. That will can help you get an idea, right? Uh, what all terms in the given equation corresponds to what things. Okay? Samaj mein aage? Not a big task, not a big, not a big, uh, huge problem. Okay, okay. Now, before going with that topic. Okay. Now, it's time to know about velocity and acceleration of a particle in simple harmonic motion. We already made an equation for displacement. Yes, we know that. Right? If any particle is undergoing a simple harmonic motion or let's say oscillatory motion, we know how to represent its displacement. Matlab x, the net position of the particle from the main position. Right? Okay. Now we are going to do or we are going to derive an equation for velocity and acceleration so that we can have an equation for the same when particle undergoes jum 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 wala simple harmonic motion. Okay? Ready? Ready? Okay. Here we go. Now why are we here Mera Vachalo? Because there was a class at 2 pm? No. Here we are at this particular slide to find out a formula for velocity and acceleration. We will start from the beginning by writing what we already know. What we already know? Equation for displacement. What is it? A cos omega t plus phi. Any particle undergoing SHM at any random point of observation, the formula for displacement is SA. Okay. Now we want to find out velocity. The velocity with which the particle undergoes this SHM. Jum, 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 jum. Velocity at each point. Array, it's very simple. Array, we already have displacement. How will you find velocity? Array, differential of displacement with respect to time will give us velocity. That's it. That is d by dt of. Now uh, we can substitute for this x which is displacement that is a cos omega t plus y. Okay, now I hope you all know the differentiation, right? I am not going for that because uh, teaching you differentiation for the time being is, I don't think it will be a good idea. Everyone should be knowing, right? Okay. A is a constant, it will be coming outside as such. Okay. Cos omega t plus phi ka differentiation hota hai, sin, cos ka differentiation, sin omega t plus phi with a negative differential of cos is minus a minus sin omega t plus phi. Okay. Now, after differentiating the exterior function, the rule is that then we have to differentiate the internal function. After differentiating cos omega t plus phi, we have to differentiate omega t plus phi. That is the rule of differentiation. Tell me what is d by dt of omega t plus phi. 
d by dt of omega is a constant into differential of time 1 plus differential of phi which is a constant is 0. So, uh, differential of cos omega t plus phi will be equal to minus sin omega t plus phi into omega. And this is uh, that awesome and that very important formula for velocity. Dekle, you can see that as the time changes on the right hand side of the equation, the value of velocity keeps on changing. Hana? Now, we can find out one simple thing from this particular equation. Do you know what it is? The maximum magnitude of velocity or maximum speed. Tell me, what can be the maximum speed with which the particle can undergo simple harmonic motion? Jum, 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 jum. Array, the speed or V can be maximum when the sine of omega t plus phi has the maximum value. How much is the maximum value of that? 1. When sine omega t plus phi takes the maximum value of 1, then we will be having maximum. Array, when sine takes 1, what will be the remaining value? That speed is equal to A omega into 1 which will be equal to A omega. Matlab, if any particle is undergoing simple harmonic motion, okay, the maximum speed it can have is A omega. Very important. Both important. Eh? This is the formula to find speed at any random time. And this is the equation to find out uh, the maximum amount of speed. Fine. Good. Okay. So, you all can note it down. Ho gaya to bata de. So, you look like Vijay Kupti Varakonda. Do you remember me? I do remember you. <laughs> and thank you so much for the compliments anyway. Lavanya for the very first time. Okay. So, be here in this class. Let me know how much you understood after the class. Theek hai? Note kiya? कोई डाउट है तो पूछ ले बच्चा लो नोटेड मुझे पता है मितलेश माइन पे है ना ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है ओके सो मूविंग ऑन अरे वंस वी गेट द वैल्यू फॉर वेलोसिटी राइट गेटिंग एक्सेलरेशन इज नॉट एट ऑल अ बिग टास्क बिकॉज एक्सेलरेशन कैन बी सिंपली फाउंड आउट बाय the differentiation of velocity with respect to time, they claim change in velocity by change in time will jai acceleration. Okay, that is d by dt of array v ka value kya? What is the value of v? Minus a omega sin omega t plus phi. So v is equal to minus a omega sin omega t plus phi. Okay, differentiate, start differentiating. Minus a omega is a constant. It will be coming out of differentiation. Okay, then sine omega t plus phi, differentiate. How much will we get? Cos omega t plus phi, very simple. And like we already have discussed in the previous case, after differentiating the external function, which is sine, then we have to differentiate the internal function that is omega t plus phi. Okay, that is the rule of differentiation. Those who haven't learned, must learn it. Okay, differentiation is very important for uh, 11th standard topic. Okay, now tell me what you look. Once you differentiate omega t plus phi, what value we get? We did the differentiation before in the previous uh, page. How much will we get? Omega. So differentiating omega t plus phi will be get omega outside cos function. So one more omega will make this as omega square. All right. Yes, simple. So, we got the formula for acceleration as minus a omega square cos omega t plus phi. Very, 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 very important. Very, very, very important. So, look at it and uh, try to analyze each and every terms and the entire equation. Okay. Ah, very good, Mithilesh. Yes, it is omega. So done, perfect, perfect Anna, okay. Now, just like I have asked you with uh, velocity, tell me what can be the maximum value of acceleration? Acceleration can be maximum when the function of cost takes its maximum value which is 1. 
So when cos takes a value of 1, acceleration will be equal to minus a omega square into 1 which is a omega square. Array, I am not uh, taking the negative sign because I am not going for that uh, what direction actually we just have written the maximum magnitude of acceleration that is possible and a negative sign shows the direction of acceleration right so we are not interested in that when we talk about maximum magnitude of acceleration so uska numerical value or its magnitude is a omega square fine Dekle, i'm going to make a chotu change in the equation of acceleration again you will love it so this minus Take a minute. Take a minute. This minus, I am going to rearrange the same equation for acceleration as such. Minus omega square, I am going to write it first. Then A cos omega t plus phi. Now look into that terms which I am going to underline. Which is A cos omega t plus phi. Have you seen this ever before? Kabhi dekha hai kya? Are a cos omega t plus phi is the formula for displacement or x, right? We already know that. So, this is minus omega square into, those who don't believe me, right? Dekhle. A cos omega t plus phi, that's from where we started and that was the equation of x displacement. So, this will be minus omega square into x. Dekhle. The net, <coughs> the net acceleration right the net acceleration of any particle undergoing simple harmonic motion is minus omega square into x and this general equation obviously it has to satisfy and it is satisfying that relation of acceleration proportional to minus of x you remember this was a condition for any particle to undergo or uh, any particle to undergo simple harmonic motion or SHM. in our general equation that is being satisfied acceleration is proportional to minus x isn't it hey ya nahi wo bata okay yes very good lakshman yes got it mithilesh yes minus x concept acceleration being proportional to minus x concept very important hai Miara, yes sir, got it. Okay. I hope you all have written this down also. Hey, na? <clears throat> clear? Super clear. Fine. Now, we have the formula for velocity. We have the formula for displacement. We have formula for acceleration. Now, as we have a formula for all of this, by using this formula, right, let us analyze a spring mass system which is undergoing a simple harmonic motion. TK. I'm sorry. Fine. And uh, during that particular point of time, using the formula that we have uh, derived right now, let us see what is the acceleration, what is the velocity, what is the displacement at each point. Okay. So, matlab, whatever we have learned through equation, now we are going to apply it in a real life situation and um, we are going to understand it more. Okay. And uh, here we go for that. Everyone listen to me here. Now, here we have our spring mass system, which is initially at its equilibrium position. Now, from the equilibrium position, I am going to apply some external force, TK. external focal force taker. I am going to extend the spring to its maximum displacement. What do you call this maximum displacement as? We already know at its amplitude okay now the particle is initially at this point when we started observing the simple harmonic motion of this mass okay initially it was here initially the particle was here fine tell me what is the formula for displacement when the particle starts from its uh, right extreme end it is a cos omega t right so the usual general formula was a cos omega t plus phi. So in this case, the value of phi becomes zero. That's all. Way difference, hai, right? A cos omega t plus phi was our general formula, and this is a specific formula when we start observation from the right extreme end. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's see. By using this formula, is uh, the information 
इज बीइंग जस्टिफाइड और नॉट देख ले एट टाइम जीरो एक्स का वैल्यू ए मिलना है अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला लेट्स सी वेदर वी आर गेटिंग दैट वैल्यू और नॉट पुट टी इक्वल टू जीरो हियर putting t equal to zero, this become a cos omega into zero is zero, and a cos zero is one, so it is a. Yes. Whatever is being defined, we are getting the answer through the equation we derived. Dekhle, uh, we know at time zero x ka value a hona chahiye, and we got it as such. Okay. First part is done. Displacement part is done. I think this part you already know. What we derived now is the equation for velocity. Formula was. माइनस ए ओमेगा साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव बट फॉर दिस कंडीशन फाइव का वैल्यू जीरो सो लेट्स पुट इट सच अरे टेल मी व्हेन द पार्टिकल इज एट द राइट एक्सट्रीम इन हमको पता है व्हाट इज द वेलोसिटी व्हेन इट इज एट द राइट एक्सट्रीम इन व्हेन टाइम इज इक्वल टू जीरो व्हेन इट इज एट द राइट एक्सट्रीम एन वी नो वेलॉसिटी इज इक्वल टू जीरो है ना because it stops dekh le when it is making zoom 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 motion when it is moving to the right hand here it will stop after stopping it will change its direction and start coming towards a equilibrium position hai na matlab aise karta hai matlab obviously at the right extreme end or at the, at the right, left extreme end velocity or speed is zero hona hi chahiye okay let's see according to the information we derived are we getting this value or not okay so v is equal to Put t equal to zero here, because at t zero we want to prove v equal to zero. A omega sine omega into time zero, so omega into zero is zero. Sine zero is that zero. Yes. The equation that we have derived satisfies the real life situation also. हमको मिल गया speed zero. वो भी सही है. मतलब when any particle is at the right extreme and speed का value zero होता है, okay? we can write it here right end and obviously when it goes to the left extreme and here also okay same con uh, concept needless to say left end pe bhi c no uh, speed zero ho jata hai okay now let us talk about acceleration when the particle is at the right extreme position tell me right what will be the value of acceleration will it be having the minimum value or will it be having the maximum value are it be having the maximum value why the acceleration has to be maximum at the right extreme end directly at the right extreme end right the spring is being stretched to its maximum value when spring is having a stretch of maximum value the force it produces which is minus kx are right, stretch value x to about zyada when x value is more right the force that is acting on the mass because of spring will be more force is more acceleration will be more which means that the right extreme end we should be getting the maximum value for acceleration theek hai we should get at the right extreme end when uh, t equal to 0 the value of acceleration should be maximum just uh, now we have uh, analyzed that let's see according to the formula are we getting this or not formula kya tha minus a omega square cos omega t plus 5 5 equal to 0 in this case put t equal to 0 mera chalo so cos of 0 ho gaya 1 so this is minus a omega square so acceleration is equal to minus a omega square which is the maximum value of acceleration and whatever is a the theoretical knowledge it matches with the, the formula that we have to write मतलब एट द राइट एक्सट्रीम एंड द पार्टिकल विल हैव मैक्सिमम एक्सेलरेशन जीरो स्पीड एंड मैक्सिमम डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज इट क्लियर क्लियर है और नहीं क्लियर है क्लियर है और नहीं क्लियर है लावण्य योर हैंड राइटिंग इज सो नाइस मजा कर रहा है ना आई नो दैट माय हैंड राइटिंग इज नॉट सो गुड बट आई जस्ट वांट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाटएवर आई एम राइटिंग दैट्स ऑल इट मैटर्स ये क्लियर हो गया एज अ कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर मेरा अच्छा लोग सबको ओके फाइन सो वी हैव फाउंड आउट वेलोसिटी डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंड एक्सेलरेशन एट द एक्सट्रीम एंड्स नाउ फर्स्ट टाइम समवन इज कॉम्प्लीमेंटिंग ऑन राइटिंग है ना राइट ओके नाउ देख ले एवरीबॉडी लिसन कमिंग बैक वापस आ जा वापस आ जा देख ले 
Now, once you leave this mass from this right extreme end, tell me what happens. There will be spring, a restoring force will be there and it will be pulling the mass towards the equilibrium position. So, if there is force towards equilibrium position, there is acceleration towards equilibrium position. Matlab, the particle keep on getting accelerated towards the equilibrium position, as say, as as say. So, the particle keep on getting accelerated and uh, the speed keeps on increasing till it reaches the equilibrium position. And when it reaches the equilibrium position, Anna, the speed will be having the maximum value. Q speed uh, y it has to be the maximum because from the right extreme end till it reaches equilibrium position the particle was continuously getting accelerated towards the main position. Matlab, speed keeps on increasing when it moves towards this left direction. So when it reaches equilibrium the speed will be maximum. Right? What about the value of acceleration at that point? Okay, we all know acceleration ka formula is minus omega square into x, one of the formula. And at the equilibrium position, at uh, equilibrium position, x ka value 0. Hai. When the value of x is equal to 0, acceleration is equal to minus omega square into 0, acceleration to 0. Ho Matlab, at the Equilibrium position acceleration zero jayega, lekin speed to maximum ho jayega. Right? G sir G, samaj me aagya? All these concepts are very important. I don't want any one of you to miss any of this. So, look into the concept. Look into all the formulas that I have written just now. And uh, tell me, is everything clear? And if you have any question and any queries or any doubts, get it cleared right now. Jaldi se jaldi, turan se turan kar liya. Yo, Nyara, Lakshman, Khizia, Vivek, Maurya. Wow, that's a great name. Sumit. Rahman, good afternoon, good afternoon. Okay. So I hope everyone is giving me thumbs up, I suppose. Other than my handwriting, everything else is clear. Hai na? <laughs> so we'll uh, do some questions. Okay. So velocity, ho gaya, everything is ho gaya. So it's time for doing some questions. So go for it. I want every one of you to do this question. Uh, Vishaga, is this your first class? Phi ka matlab ye ki initial phase. Okay. So kindly watch the first session where I have explained here phi kya hota hai and how to find out phi. It is very important. When will, when will I teach question? Dekh le, aa gaya. Questions ka wakt aa gaya. The question is right in front of you. So start reading the question and start doing it. Waiting for answers. Urunimish. <laughs> Nimish kya hota hai? It is like Urunimisham. Urunimisham in Malayalam means one minute or a moment. Confused on A and C, so just think about it and lock your answer. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let me solve it. Okay. So you can keep on giving me the answers. Directly. If you read the question, question says the acceleration of a particle undergoing simple harmonic motion A is given as minus B into X. Question here is that what is the time period? Kya hai? Are time period ka general formula? Kya hai? What is the general formula of time period? That is 2 pi by omega. Right. So, if we can get the value of omega from the equation of acceleration, yes, the answer for time period is done. Like in how to get this value of omega? Very simple. And it says particle undergoes simple harmonic motion. If it undergoes simple harmonic motion, the equation for acceleration should be according to its general formula. Because any particle undergoes SHM, it should be obeying this uh, general formula for SHM motion where acceleration is minus omega square into x. 
according to this formula dekhle whatever is the coefficient of x that be corresponding to omega square so analyzing the above equation we will get right the coefficient of x is b and this coefficient of x will be what coefficient of x will be what are omega square समझ में आ गया बिकॉज एनी पार्टिकल इफ इट वॉन्ट टू बी एन एस एच एम मोशन इट शुड बी ओबेइंग दिस बेसिक इक्वेशन वेर एक्सेलरेशन इज माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वायर इंटू एक्स मतलब ओके दिस क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्स शुड बी इक्वल इन टू ओमेगा स्क्वायर दैट्स वाई हैव रिटर्न दिस बी इक्वल टू ओमेगा स्क्वायर सो ओमेगा का वैल्यू क्या है रूट बी टेकिंग रूट ऑन बोथ द साइड सो टाइम पीरियड का वैल्यू क्या है टू पाई डिवाइडेड बाई ओमेगा विच इज इक्वल टू रूट बी All good. देख ले इट वॉज अ वेरी नाइस क्वेश्चन नन्नू मुन्नू क्वेश्चन था एंड आई होप यू ऑल गॉड इट आ गया ना समझ जल्दी बोल दे बोल दे हाँ सर हाँ 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 बिल्कुल और क्या क्यों नहीं अच्छे से समझ में आ गया यस इन थेलुगु ओके नमेश आई डू बिलीव यू देख ले ना अदर प्रॉब्लम वी हैव नन्नू मुन्नू प्रॉब्लम है फाइन so yes give me the answer <laughs> read this we already have did this problem matlab the concept of this question is already discussed so it is not at all a big task for you to give me the answer for this सो so, जितना जल्दी दे सकता है उतना जल्दी दे दे एवरी वन एस लाइक बी बी विशागा बी निधिश्री सुमित बी ओके फाइन एवरी वन एज गोइंग फॉर ऑप्शन बी लक्ष्मण इज ओनली गोइंग फॉर ऑप्शन है लवानी इज नो 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 आई एम फ्रॉम केरला एक्चुअली लवानी ठीक है देख ले ना वी का रिस्पॉन्स टू द वैल्यू ऑफ वेलासिटी ए फॉर एक्सेलरेशन एंड एक्स फॉर डिस्प्लेसमेंट राइट द यूशल सिंपल फॉर ऑल दीज फिजिकल क्वान्टिटीज ठीक है क्वेश्चन इज वेन इट इज एट द मेन पोजिशन वॉट आर द पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ वी ए एंड एक्स अरे वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस एट द मेन पोजिशन राइट एक्सेलरेशन एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट तो ऑब्वियसली जीरो हो जाएगा मेन पोजिशन इज द पॉइंट वेर एक्स इज जीरो एंड एक्सेलरेशन का फॉर्मूला इज इक्वल टू माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वायर इन टू एक्स सो इफ एक्स इज जीरो एक्सेलरेशन भी जीरो हो जाएगा दिस ऑलरेडी वी नो ठीक है एंड इट इज एट द मेन पोजिशन और इक्विलिब्रियम पोजिशन वेलासिटी इज मैक्सिम वी ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस दिस है ना इन द प्रीवियस कॉन्सेप्ट एंड वी वी आर एक्सप्लेन ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस दिस ओके फाइन है ना ओके सो बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर वी हैव वन मोर क्वेश्चन सो जल्दी फटाफट इसका भी आंसर दे दे वी कैन मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन चल दी अरे नन्नू मुन्नू क्वेश्चन है एक लेट मी से दिस विल बी द नन्नू मुन्नू क्वेश्चन एनी वन आंसर्स एनी वन एनी वन एनी वन आंसर क्या है इसका अक्षर ऑप्शन ए बोल रहा है लक्ष्मण बी काइंडली डू चेक एवरीथिंग विल बी अवेलेबल चेन्नई चेन्नई सेंस से ओके ना देख लें इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड विच फॉर्मूला बिटवीन एक्सेलरेशन एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट कैन Corresponds or point to an SHM motion. Just write down the general formula for acceleration. Yeah, my dear, what? Look, general formula for acceleration. 
acceleration is equal to minus omega square into x. Matlab, acceleration should be equated to the negative value of x to the power of 1. Which formula has that being satisfied? Okay. Third equation acceleration is equal to negative of x to the power of 1. So obviously it is option 1 because in other cases here in the second case x is being squared so not the 1. Here we don't have negative sign not the 1. Here x is being cubed not the 1. Okay. Nanu Munu concept. Right. Okay. Now. Now we are gonna proceed further. Let's see. Right? So, we already started with this chapter by explaining about uh, periodic motion. Matlab, if a particle is making a circular motion, right, we know that it is periodic. Now, what we are going to do now is, right, we are going to see is there any relationship between a particle undergoing a uniform circular motion as say about its center and simple harmonic motion. Directly, we know that there is no relationship, but we are going to find a relationship. Okay? Dekhle, dekhle. Everybody listen. Very important concept here. Okay? So, this is the center and this is the horizontal line, let's say. And the particle is making a circular motion, I say. Okay. So, completing the circle, I say. I say, I say, I say. Okay. Now, the particle is undergoing a, some, a circular motion starting from, let's say, the horizontal position in the anti-clockwise direction with an angular velocity of omega. A constant angular velocity is case, the particle is making a circular motion as say. Now, we already know when particle is making circular motion as say, it is in periodic motion only. It is not even oscillatory, or oscillatory motion or not a simple harmonic motion. Okay. Now, uh, the particle moves starting from here. Let's say the particle is here at some point. After some time, it will be reaching here. Now, during the motion of the particle in that circular motion, don't look at the entire motion. Just look at to, to the shadow of the particles on the x-axis. If I make a shadow of this particular particle on the x-axis, it shadow to idhar ho jayega. Isn't it? Now, particle moves from here to here, I say. Once it reaches here again, I am making the shadow. Where will it be on the x-axis? Idhar ho jayega. The particle is not going to stop here. It is going to move, I say, it has reached here. Now, if I make uh, the projection or the shadow on the x-axis, where the particle will be here? When the particle reaches here, again, I make the shadow here. When the particle is at the horizontal, its shadow on the horizontal is here itself. Matlab, if you just simply observe the motion of the particle in the x-axis or the projection of the particle in the x-axis, you can see that the particle starts from here. It goes to the center position, which can be considered as equilibrium position. And from the center, it will be moving to the left extreme, and I say. Isn't it? Now, if the particle again continue its circular motion, likely the particle has reached here. So, its projection is here. Now, after this, you will see that the particle will be again moving towards equilibrium and from equilibrium, say, to the opposite end. Can you observe that? Which means, though not the total motion of the particle is not undergoing SHM, right? The projection of, it, of the particle on the x-axis, as we can see, is making what? Huh, jum, 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 jum motion. They clear from here, it go to the... Main. Uh, equilibrium to the left extreme, yes, it is undergoing that jum 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 motion or the simple harmonic motion. Can I write this? Can I write? They click projection of particle on x axis. Undergoing 
circular motion is in SH. Let's add uniform. Okay, is it clear? Fine. Now tell me if that is the case here, what will be the amplitude? They declare this is the center position, this is the right extreme end. So the distance from the center or the equilibrium position to the right extreme end will be uh, considered as amplitude here and here in this case we already know that distance is equal to the radius of the circular path. So here in this case the amplitude with which the particle oscillate is uh, equal to the radius. Now we just have said this uh, by using our conceptual way only. Matlab only conceptual proof is there now we need to have an experimental proof or let's say a formula which can say that the particle the projection of the particle is actually making simple harmonic motion let's find out that formula okay they clear. very simple let's say initially the particle is here at time t equal to 0 the initial particle is here and it is having an initial phase of phi from here the particle moves let's say from the point a it is moving to the point b and reaches here after a time of t okay fine so how much will be this angle covered when it moves from the point a to b they clear what is the angle cover we know that we know that uh, omega is equal to theta by time so the theta the angle it covers in a time of t will be equal to omega into t cross multiply matlab ye angle hai na dekh le ye angle covered by the particle when it moves from a to b hota hai omega t koi shak is pe koi shak and adibak kindly don't spam here in this class if that is a big thing i'm asking so kindly do that big thing for me theek hai so it'll be great So I hope everything is uh, clear till this part, hai na? Clear, right? Now we have to prove that when the particle is here, its projection on the x-axis, which is going to be here, right, which uh, is undergoing a simple harmonic motion, right? So let's see. When the particle is here, they clear at this blue colored region. What is its displacement? Displacement का मतलब ये कि position from the equilibrium position ये that the blue colored region is x. How much is that x going to be? Array from the center to here, this is r, right? And this angle is equal to omega t plus phi. So this x value, that x value, and it's not visible properly, right? So that x value, which is uh, the current displacement of the particle from uh, the mean position or projection of the particle from the mean position, x will be equal to. Are the horizontal component of r, isn't it? Ye r ka horizontal component, isn't it x equal to? Yes. And how can I find out the horizontal component of r? That is equal to r cos. What is the total angle made by the point with uh, the horizontal? It is phi plus omega t. That is omega t plus phi. And we already know this r is equal to what? We already have written radius is equal to amplitude. So, ye hota hai a cos omega t plus phi. Ye hamara formula for displacement. Nannu munnu concept. Okay, clear? Bachalo, Lakshman, is it clear? Array, sine is also fine, cos is also fine. Okay, sine will be the projection of the particle on the y axis. Now, if you use the same concept and look into the movement of the projection of the particle on the y axis, it will also be making that same kind of motion. I say jum 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 motion. Right? No difference in that. Instead of considering the projection on the x axis, when you write the formula or sign, right, that will be the SHM motion that is happening on which axis? On the y axis. That's it. 
Yes, Lakshman, Neeti, Lavanya, Deepak, Clea. So now understood that simple relationship between uniform circular motion and simple harmonic motion. Clear? Not a big task, right? Utna bhi bada task nahi hai. Okay. ठीक है, so yes, we did that ननु मनु सा concept, बढ़िया बात है, बढ़िया बात है। Now, do you know what we are going to do? We are going to find out the value for time period in special cases में जाओ चलो। Special cases का मतलब ये कि in the case of spring mass system, first case, in the case of simple pendulum, second case. In these two cases, we are going to find out separately. Omega kya hota hai and by finding Omega, we will also find what is the time period. Theek hai? Fine? Okay. So starting with uh, the spring mass system, finding out Omega and time period for what? For the spring mass system. Okay. Everyone, jaldi se likh le. Jaldi fada fada likh le everyone. Okay. Now I'm going to underline and we're going to start writing. Like we do all the time. Hai na? We'll draw our spring mass system starting from the equilibrium position. Right? You are going to stretch the spring to some displacement. Okay? Now the spring is being stretched and the particle is at some another position. Let's say the particle is at a distance of x from the equilibrium. Tell me what happened once we remove the external force acting on it. Ray, the spring force will be acting towards left. Isn't it? Yes. And it is that spring force which is responsible for creating that restoring force to restore the body towards its equilibrium position. Right? And uh, that force is responsible for uh, making SHM. Okay. Tell me what is the formula for that uh, spring force? Array. Minus kx. If x is the displacement and k is the spring constant, minus kx. We already know. Work for energy we have learned. Force ka formula is m into a. That is minus kx. And acceleration is equal to minus k by m into x. We already have derived this formula. Lekin ek, e ek or bar kar diya for making the derivation for omega. That's it. Theek hai. Now, how can we get omega? Now it's simple. Just write down the general formula for acceleration which is minus omega square x. Comparing, we know that coefficient of x has to be what? Omega square if the particle is in SHM. So we can write the coefficient of x which is k by m is equal to omega square. So omega ka value kya hota hai? Root of k by m. Are very important hai? Put it in a box. Do you know why we keep box around all the important formulas? Because actually we are caging all those uh, formulas so that it won't run away. <laughs> I don't know how good uh, Kitana Chawala what joke tha. I know that it was a bad joke also, but fair be. <laughs> so, mil gaya, right? Omega. Theek hai. Okay. Now, omega ka value mil gaya, toh time period ka formula kya hai? 2 pi by omega that is equal to 2 pi by omega is equal to root of k by m that m will be going up so we can write the next net formula as 2 pi root of m by k okay good awesome we got the time period formula for a spring mass system which is very 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 important. Ho gaya? Yes? Theek hai? Fine. Now, once about, this is over, before going with energy, 
विल कंप्लीट दिस पार्ट ऑफ फाइंडिंग ओमेगा वैल्यू है ना इन द केस ऑफ अ सिंपल पेंडुलम ऑल्सो राइट वी गोट फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ ओमेगा एंड टाइम पीरियड इन द केस ऑफ सिंपल पेंडुलम ऑल्सो लेट्स गेट डन ठीक है लेट्स आर सॉल्विंग इट रेडी एकदम ओके ठीक है मचा देगा मचा देगा do write everything okay every steps whatever i write every conceptual information whatever i give you and whatever i talk in between which will not be available in notebooks and ncert you can write it down chotu chotu side pe in your chotu books a very good afternoon drs sir thank you secret gigan okay now dekh le we have uh, what do we have yes we do have a simple pendulum and uh, by applying some external force you have raised this uh, simple pendulum to some height matlab the simple pendulum by making some angle theta it is at some height from the ground considering this is our ground fine cool okay now once you leave this simple pendulum from this particular position you know that uh, give me a minute mera chalo I actually forgot to plug it. Okay, so uh, once I leave this bob from this particular position of the simple pendulum, हो क्या हो जाएगा बच्चा लोग? Tell me what will happen? हाँ, ah, it will start moving down to the equilibrium. इधर आ जाएगा, then it will be going to the left extreme end. मतलब it will keep on undergoing oscillation, or it will be making the simple harmonic motion about this. इक्विलिब्रियम पोजिशन ठीक है ऐसे जुम 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 सो इट विल कीप ऑन है नाउ हियर ऑल्सो वी वॉन्टेड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ ओमेगा एंड हियर ऑल्सो वी वॉन्टेड टू फाइंड आउट द फॉर्मूला फॉर टाइम पीरियड हाउ वी गॉट ओमेगा एंड टाइम पीरियड वाइल वी वर डीलिंग विद स्प्रिंग मास सिस्टम वेरी सिंपल वी रो डाउन द इक्वेशन फॉर नेट वैल्यू ऑफ फोर्स देर ठीक है, because a particle was undergoing a linear motion, but here the factor responsible for it is not a linear motion. Here the particle is rotation, है ना? Isn't the particle making rotatory motion? Yes, it is making a rotatory motion. So the net equation we have to write is not for force, it is for torque, because it is the torque which is responsible for the rotatory motion. ठीक है, fine. so instead of writing the equation for force here as the rotatory motion is happening writing the net value of torque is equal to r cross f or rf sin theta i hope you do all remember this part hai na finding out the value of torque from our uh, rotational motion chapter so from there i want every one of you to remember this f sin theta kya hai tell me what is this f sin theta अरे एफ साइन थीटा इज द परपेंडिकुलर कंपोनेंट टू द रेडियस वेक्टर अबाउट व्हिच इट ऑसिलेट देख ले दिस इज द पॉइंट ऑफ रोटेशन एंड दिस इज आवर आर सो वी हैव टू नो दैट परपेंडिकुलर कंपोनेंट ऑफ फोर्स टू आर स्टार्ट मार्किंग ऑल द फोर्सेस दिस इज एम जी एंड द अदर फोर्सेस टेंशन अलोंग द स्ट्रिंग और अलोंग द रेडियस सो ऑबवियसली टेंशन इज नॉट गोइंग टू रोटेट द बॉडी व्हाई बिकॉज़ इट इज अलोंग द रेडियस एंड वी वांट द फोर्स परपेंडिकुलर टू इट ठीक है ये एम जी है तो बता दे दिस कॉम्पोनेंट विल बी विच वन अरे दिस इज थीटा दिस इज थीटा राइट यस सो वो दोनों थीटा है तो वो ये दिस कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ एम जी विल बी एम जी कॉस थीटा एंड दिस कॉम्पोनेंट विल बी एम जी साइन थीटा देख ले अमंग द थ्री फोर्स विच फोर्स इज एक्टिंग परपेंडिकुलर टू द रेडियस वेक्टर एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर pulling that bob towards equilibrium position aise kheech raha hai right it is pulling towards equilibrium position which force it is can you see that force perpendicular to our mg sin theta right so f sin theta which is the perpendicular force with radius r is r is equal to mg sin theta
okay now for chotu angles of theta we know that sin theta can be approximated to theta right so i'm going to write m g we all know this radius can you see this value of radius with which it rotates is equal to the length of the string so for r i'm going to substitute it as l sin theta fine is it also okay and i forgot we just uh, i just have told you and our chalo that uh, if sin theta is very small sin theta can be written as uh, theta here right and ek aur thing bacha lo we forgot to apply the sign here are torque how will you find out the direction you just have to take your right hand and curl your fingers in the direction of rotation of the particle dekh le it is making this anti clockwise sorry clockwise rotation right aise kar raha hai look into the direction pointed by thumb whatever is the direction given by thumb that will be the direction of torque what is the direction given by thumb here inside z axis matlab minus k cap so we're going to put a negative sign here okay so right hand the side is being developed and now i'm going to develop for left hand side tell me what is the other formula for torque torque ka dusra formula kya hai ar i alpha hai na i alpha is the other formula for torque now tell me i ka value kya hota hai for this particle of mass which is at a distance of r from the point of rotation i moment of inertia value mr square mr square i ka value hota hai mr square right into alpha value theek hai so rewriting m r ka value we already know it is l hai. so m l square alpha continuing the equation on the right l l cancel m m cancel uh alpha ka value ho gaya minus g by l theta what is it alpha ka value humko mil gaya minus g by l theta you will be like sir we are not getting any idea from here how can we get omega value are very simple you have to simply use this concept that uh linear acceleration is equal to r times uh, angular acceleration r alpha so alpha is equal to a by r linear acceleration by radius theek hai that is equal to minus g by l theta ka formula kya hai are dekh le theta is equal to arc length let's say x divided by radius so to r here hai na so minus e by l theta i'm going to write it as arc length divided by radius r r cancel ho jayega acceleration is minus g by l x ho gaya hamara kaam ho gaya hamara kaam ho gaya humko mil gaya the formula for acceleration which is minus g by l into x clear is it clear yes any doubts any nanu manu doubts no right okay so here we are with acceleration ka value is minus g by l into x okay tell me what is the general formula for acceleration minus omega square into x if any particle undergoes shm start comparing whatever is the coefficient of x that will be omega square so here the coefficient of x is g by l and that will be corresponding to omega square so omega value is root of g by l hota kya root of g by l hota kya root of g by l are omega ka value mil gaya to time period bhi aise hi mil jayega time period is 2 pi by omega so by omega is root g 
बाय रूट एल वो रूट एल ऊपर हो जाएगा सो हम गोड री अरेंज एंड ऐसे ही लिख रहा है टाइम पीरियड का फॉर्मूला मिल गया टू बाय रूट ऑफ एल बाय जी अरे कितना सही है सर कितना सही है सर अच्छे से ओके नन्हे से प्यार से मिल गया समझ में आ गया क्लियर इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर ओके सो अमनदीप इज आस्किंग सर एक्स क्या होता है देख ले कैन यू सी इफ द पार्टिकल इज हियर and from this if the particle is moved to the right extreme as say can you see that arc length here which will be corresponding to the displacement along that circumference isn't it so that arc length or that displacement along the circumference we mark it as x in the case of simple pendulum sahi hai समझ में आ गया ओके okay. सर आप इस टाइम मतलब एस एस एन मेरे कॉलेज रहती है प्लीज अरे जी आई एम रिली सॉरी देर इज सम थिंग्स विच इज गोइंग ऑन लाइक आई टोल्ड यू सो देर इज नो कंफर्टेबल टाइम फॉर मी अकॉर्डिंग टू द शेड्यूल व्हाट आई हैव है ना so so take a class I'm really sorry so kindly do watch the replay what do you all say do watch the replay uh, once the session is over you can watch it ठीक है so have a look at it once again every one of you अच्छे से and just check and go through all the formula it's very important सर so, शाम की टाइमिंग ही सही है अरे मुझे पता है शाम का टाइमिंग सही है and it is very good for every one of you but यही प्रॉब्लम है लाइक यू ऑलरेडी टोल्ड सो हो गया बात क्लियर ओके सो लेट्स डू सम प्रॉब्लम्स यार ठीक है विल डू सम नन्नू मुन्नू प्रॉब्लम्स एंड करेगा But sir, we can't interact with you in replaying, are? Am I am I fun to interact with? पता नहीं था. ठीक है. देख लेगा, देख लेगा. अभी कर ले. Question कर ले. बच्चा लोग आपने. और मुझे उत्तर दे दे. खुश बना दे मुझे. जल्दी, जल्दी, जल्दी. anyone hands up everyone is either going for option a or b here zero <laughs> okay i'll explain dekh le everyone bachcha log dekh le mera bachcha log here in order to double the time period of a simple pendulum length of the string should be what changes has to be made to the length of the string theek hai so that we can double the time period first let us write down the formula for time period बेसिक फॉर्मूला क्या है टाइम पीरियड का टाइम पीरियड टी इज इक्वल टू टू पाई रूट ऑफ एल डिवाइडेड बाई जी क्वेश्चन ये है कि राइट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू मेक द टाइम पीरियड टू टू टाइम्स विच मीन्स डबल द वैल्यू वॉट चेंजेस टू बी मेड इन द लेंथ ठीक है इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल वी नो दैट फॉर डबलिंग इट फॉर डबलिंग द टाइम पीरियड टू मेक इट एज टी डैच The length should be equal to four times of L. देख ले, if you take a root of four, that will be equal to two. Will be coming out. Then what remains is two pi root of L by G. And this two pi root of L by G was the initial time period. 
so 2 is here 2 pi root of l by g is t so the new time period t dash became 2 times of time period in which case kab ho gaya ye? in which case has happened when uh, when did this time period become 2 times whenever the length is made 4 times when length becomes 4 times the time period is actually becoming 2 times because of that root connection root to hai How many lectures uh, I was thinking to complete in this particular uh, session itself, but I don't think it will be possible. So we'll be taking one more session. A core session later. So, समझ में आ गया? No issues at all. So, our correct answer is option C quadrupled. ठीक है? So, अगले question पे जाएगा. Here we have. Okay, this is a very good problem. अच्छा problem. हाँ सी ये आंसर अब समझ में आ गया ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है कहाँ गया मतलब ये शाब्द क्या नहीं टेक एक्स्ट्रा टाइम ठीक है सोचेगा मैं तो who's going to give me the correct answer for this इसका जवाब कौन दे देगा who's going to give me the answer मतलब ये बोल रहा है सी है GI is also going for option C. Okay, all my favorite regular students are giving me the answers here. I'm so proud of you, my chalo. Fine, let's do this. Question is, what is the length of a simple pendulum which ticks in second? Let us understand this concept of a simple pendulum which ticks in second. Dekhle, we have the pendulum hanging vertically in the initial. Okay. Let's say it is moving towards a right assay. It goes to the right extreme end. Pehle, and then it comes back. And the moment it comes back to the equilibrium position, you can see one tick. Tick. Okay. One tick sound will be there. And uh, again it will be moving assay, 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 assay to the left uh, extreme end and coming back to the equilibrium one more tick. ठीक है, which means in one complete oscillation how many ticks will be there? बता दे, if the simple pendulum is making one complete oscillation how many ticks you will be listening to? You will be listening to two ticks, two ticks sound है ना tick 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 वो होता है tick, ठीक है, now it is given that one ticks take one second so two tick will take two second मतलब the time taken for one oscillation is two second इसका मतलब ये कि time period of this particular pendulum is two second so it is very important to know that right for the simple pendulum which takes in seconds उसका time period दो है एक नहीं okay so those who don't know जल्दी से जल्दी kindly note this down that that pendulum which ticks in second वो होता है two second मतलब time period होता है two second हाँ हाँ very good रुक्षा लूसिफर ठीक now that is not the question time period क्या है that's not the question question ये कि what should be the length of the simple pendulum for the time period to be two second formula just write down the formula time period is equal to two pi root of l by g t substitute कर ले मेरे बच्चा लोग t is equal to two second that is equal to 2 pi uh, root of L by G. Now, 2, 2 cancels. Uh, 1 by pi is equal to root of L by G. Square curly, we will get 1 by pi square is equal to L by G. L will be equal to G by pi square, which will be equal to 1. L ka value will jaga G by pi square. G is 9.8 pi square, 3.14 the whole square. So, both of them will can have almost the same value. So it will be 
हाँ जी आ गया दो बजे से हो गई बात करेक्ट आंसर वाह सीम्स लाइक यू डिड आंसर फ्रॉम देर है ना उधर से किया है ना आप मिथिलेश बहुत बढ़िया बात है ओके सो ये कॉन्सेप्ट भी सही है सही मिल गया सबको अच्छे से विदाउट एनी डाउट ओके सो हम अगला कॉन्सेप्ट पे जा रहे हैं विच इज रिलेटेड टू एनर्जी इन सिंबल हारमोनिक मोशन ठीक है एनर्जी इन सिंबल हारमोनिक मोशन ना इट्स वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन ठीक है ओके लेट्स डू दिस now uh, what we going to do is first we'll realize and find out what are the energies associated when the particle makes i say nanu munnu jum 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 simple harmonic motion theek hai then we'll find out what is the equation for uh, those energies at a different points when the particle is making jum 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 simple harmonic motion okay yes let's have a look at it <coughs> starting from here now onwards this is our ground this is our uh, spring here and this is our mass here now this uh, spring and mass let's say i am going to stretch this particular spring to some displacement and from this uh, stretched position right i am going to leave the body once i leave what happen the particle starts moving with a speed when there is a speed tell me which energy will be possessed kinetic energy so during this uh, simple harmonic motion there is kinetic energy theek hai then what are which another energy is present here bara chalo are the spring is being extended hai na spring to extend kiya hai hum so if the spring is being extended spring will be possessing a potential energy मतलब when the particle is making oscillation like this kinetic and potential energy is associated and its value keeps on changing like this ठीक है आ गया समझ ओके नाउ अब देख ले ओके बिफोर वी डिराइव द इक्वेशंस फॉर काइनेटिक एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी लेट्स हैव अ लुक एंड लेट्स सी वेयर कैन वी एक्सपेक्ट अ मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ काइनेटिक एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जीज वेरी सिंपल कांसेप्ट इट इज let us take a fresh page and understand same picture let me draw it again if we draw it there bahut zyada clumsy ho jayega okay this mass and uh, now at this particular position right when the particle is at the right extreme end okay we know that the particle will be stationary matlab here speed will be zero speed to zero tha and uh, the spring will be having the maximum extension x will be maximum so using this formula tell me what all energies will be possessed by this mass at this right extreme end very simple speed zero hai to kinetic energy zero hai at the right extreme end and as displacement as the spring is being stretched to the max maximum kinetic energy will be sorry potential energy will be stored so at the right extreme end potential energy will be maximum okay theek hai you leave the mass ab chhod diya tell me what happens the mass will be moving towards equilibrium position mass to idhar pahunchega mass to idhar pahunchega isn't it ha ठीक है मास तो इधर पहुंच गया ना आफ्टर द मास इज एग्जैक्टली एट द इक्म पोजिशन वन द मास इज एट द इक्म पोजिशन एस यू कैन सी इट यूर राइट जस्ट टेल मी मेरे अच्छा लोग वोट बी द वैल्यू ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट एक्स अरे वन इट इज एट द इक्म पोजिशन स्प्रिंग विल नॉट बी स्ट्रेच सो एक्स का वैल्यू जीरो हो जाएगा ठीक है x का वैल्यू जीरो हो गया एंड इफ x इज इक्वल टू जीरो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल बी हैविंग द मिनिमम वैल्यू हियर 
because potential energy totally depends upon the extension of the spring and the potential energy is stored inside uh, the spring also so potential energy will be minimum at uh, the equilibrium position what about kinetic we already have learned right at the equilibrium position velocity to bacha look bata velocity ko it will be having the maximum value we already have learned so velocity maximum to kinetic energy maximum ho jayega maximum ho jayega kidhar at uh, the equilibrium position sahi hai सही है अरे अरे कोई बात नहीं जी बट डू वॉच द रिप्ले एंड द रिकॉर्डिंग ओके ओके फाइन नाउ आई होप यू ऑल गॉट द कॉन्सेप्ट स्टिल हियर मतलब काइंटिक एनर्जी एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी का वेरिएशन ठीक है दिस इज नॉट इनफ we need the exact एंड स्पेसिफिक फॉर्मूला ऑल्सो फॉर काइनेटिक एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एट ईट ईट पॉइंट ठीक है तो हम जा रहे हैं हम कर रहे हैं so first we will start with finding out the value for kinetic energy simple kinetic energy ka formula nannu munna bachcho ka bhi janta hai which is half mv square theek hai so that is equal to half into m into v ka formula kya hai how many of you do remember velocity ka formula minus a omega minus a omega sin omega t plus phi याद है ना याद नहीं है तो याद करना ही है स्क्वायर कर ले सो व्हाट हैपेंस सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू हाफ ओमेगा स्क्वायर एंड एम वी हैव एम ओमेगा स्क्वायर नेगेटिव विल बी कैंसल्ड सो दिस विल बी ए स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर ओमेगा डी प्लस वाई कूल इधर तक इधर तक सब बढ़िया ओके नाउ वी गोइंग टू 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 मेक सम सम वी गोइंग पुट वैल्यूज हियर ठीक है देख ले सिंप्लीफिकेशन कर रहे जा रहे हैं हम वी गोइंग टू मेक सम सिंप्लीफिकेशन हियर नाउ वी ऑल नो दैट ओमेगा का वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू रूट ऑफ के बाई एम थोड़ी देर पहले वी वी हैव है ना सो स्क्वायर कर ले ओमेगा स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू के बाई एम सही है ठीक है so k will be equal to m omega square can you see that m and omega square ka value if you multiply you will get k isn't it so yes so half m omega square i am going to substitute it as k so this is equal to half k a square m omega square i have substituted as k theek hai a square sin square omega t plus phi can you see this After a square, sine square omega t plus phi. So sine square theta can be written as one minus cos square theta. So instead of theta, we have omega t plus phi. Cross multiply, मतलब multiply a square inside the bracket half k a square minus a cos omega t plus phi. सर स्क्वायर कहाँ गया अरे लेट मी पुट इट इन एज अ होल स्क्वायर ना देख ले हैव यू सीन दिस कभी देखा है कि ये इसको देखा है कि आंखें क्लोज करके सोच ले ए ओमेगा कॉस ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव हैव यू सीन दिस एनी कभी देखा है क्या कभी देखा है अरे देखना तो चाहिए ए कॉस ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव इज अ फॉर्मूला फॉर एक्स विच इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट सो दिस इज हैविंग अ वैल्यू ऑफ ए हाफ के ए स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स इज बीइंग स्क्वायर एंड दिस इज द वैल्यू फॉर काइनेटिक एनर्जी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके ओके लिया अरे मिथिलेश रुक्षार नीतिश्री सीक्रेट के गिर जी आ क्लिया मिथिलेश वेरी गुड वेरी गुड ऑसम सो जस्ट नाउ वी हैव डिराइव द फॉर्मूला फॉर काइनेटिक एनर्जी विच इज सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट डोंट मिस इट नाउ 
now along with kinetic energy what we also need to find out potential energy we know that when a particle is oscillating right uh, the energy keeps on shifting its value between kinetic and potential energy hey ani hey ani ha hoi hota hai so once we get have the formula for kinetic energy value of a potential energy is very much required and where is this potential energy stored when the spring is stretched if the spring is stretched to a value of x what is the formula for potential energy stored we all know half k x square सही है पोटेंशियल जी का फॉर्मूला ऐसे ही मिल गया बहुत आसानी से हाफ के एक स्क्वायर था पोटेंशियल जी का फॉर्मूला इफ यू वांट टू सब्सिट्यूट फॉर एक्स एक्स इक्वल टू ए कॉस ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव एक्स इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट राइट सो एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर कॉस स्क्वायर ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव सो दिस फॉर्मूला इज ऑल्सो ओके बट The most relevant formula is half k x square. Kinetic energy is potential energy is, and the total energy is what? Which means if the particle keeps on oscillating, right? At some point we we'll having potential energy and kinetic energy also together. So tell me what will be the total energy associated with the particle in any of the situation? A uh, heat because uh, that all those things come when we. Talk about the restoring. I mean, when we talk about the dissipating forces, frictional forces. Okay. In this case, during SHM, we are only considering the ideal situation. We are only considering ideal situation. Okay. Fine. So for total energy, we need to add up kinetic energy plus potential energy. Okay. Add it. What happens? On kinetic energy, half k minus x square we have here. We have plus half k x square that will be cancelled. And what remains is half k capital A square. मतलब in the equation of total energy, half is a constant, k is a spring constant, वो भी constant है, amplitude भी constant. मतलब total energy when the particle oscillates or the particle undergo zoom 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 simple harmonic motion, it's a constant. What changes? Potential energy changes देख ले. X is displacement. When the particle uh, keeps on moving, displacement changes. Potential energy changes. So in the equation of kinetic energy, x value change, kinetic energy change. That's it. Say it. Simple. No no no. Say it. Simple. No no no. Are you understanding? Yes. Clear. Okay. Now, uh, one last thing from this particular part. Chamka. Ha. बहुत बढ़िया, बहुत बढ़िया. ठीक है. So now we have the formula for kinetic potential and uh, total energy. We'll write down the formula again based on that. Let's draw a graph. Let's do some questions, and uh, that'll be all for today. ठीक है, we'll do the remaining part in another class. देख ले, starting from, starting from potential energy formula क्या है? Half k x square. Kinetic energy formula half k inside the bracket a square minus x square. And total energy half k a square. Let's draw a graph. Let's draw a graph. See okay. here. So on the x-axis, we are plotting x displacement. So this point of displacement is x equal to zero. This is the point of positive x, where this is x equal to a, and this is the point of negative x, and this point of x is equal to minus a, minus amplitude. See okay. here. Now. On the y-axis, we are plotting energy. Any energy, total potential, kinetic, whatever it is. Tell me, if I draw the value of a graph, or if I draw the graph of total energy, right? How the graph will be with respect to displacement? Right? You can see in the equation of total energy, there is no value of x. मतलब ये 
whatever is the value of x whether it is minus a whether it is 0 whether it is plus a it will be always having that constant value of half k a square so this straight line graph parallel to x axis will correspond to total energy Why I say because it's a constant value change the order Total energy ka baat to ho gaya. Now aap dekh le. Potential energy. Potential energy when x equal to 0 kitna. Here. x equal to 0. Putting x equal to 0. Half k 0 square is 0. Matla potential energy there is 0. When uh, x equal to a. Potential energy is half k. x will take a. Half k is square either. When x equal to minus a at this point, where will potential energy be? Half k minus a, the whole square is half k a square itself here itself. Matlab, if you collect all these points, we will be getting a graph like this, which will be for potential energy. Okay, parabolic to hota hai because the graph is uh, energy is proportional to square of x. Okay, na? Ek dam. Ekdam must. So potential energy ho gaya to ab kinetic energy bhi kar lai. Dekh le. At x equal to 0. Putting x equal to 0 in the equation of kinetic. Formula is half k a square minus 0 square is half k a square. Matlab particle idhar to ho jaye. Matlab kinetic energy idhar ho jaye at x equal to 0. When x equal to plus a or minus a. x equal to plus a or minus a. x will take a a square. A square minus A square, 0 square. A square minus A square, 0 square, nahi, 0. Thik hai, matlab, x equal to plus A, x equal to minus A, 0 ho jayega. So the graph will be parabolic if you collect all these points. Aise ho jayega. Dekh le, ho baat. We derive the formulas of kinetic potential total. Thik hai, we plotted the graph also for the same with respect to the displacement. Isse kya chahiye zindagi pe? <laughs> Isse kya maangege aap bhagwan se from this particular chapter or kuch nahi chahiye this is all what is required. Two more topics are left damped oscillation and forced oscillation. I thought of completing it mujhe abhi energy nahi hai. We'll take another class and we'll finish it off. Fine. Simple simple concept or kya? Any doubts? Kuch bhi nahi. Any doubts if you have this is your time you can ask me here in the chat box. You can have a look at whatever I have written on the screen right there. Just have a quick look at all the formulas and once you got an idea we can move forward. Okay. Sir please add budget loaner. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah I hope you know that I will be there only for some more days. So. Thoda din aur bhi mein hi hoon. Matlab, aaj to 10 Feb ho gaya. I'll be there only for 28 Feb. Thik hai? Okay. Questions to hai. To kar ke jayega. To kar le. Okay. Yes, Lavanya, I do live in Bangalore. Answer kya hai? 150. Option C bol raha hai. Ara dekh le. A linear, linear harmonic oscillator has a total mechanical energy. Total energy ka value 200 hai. Potential energy of it at mean position is 50. Find the minimum value of potential energy. Pooch rai. Are, we already know that. Dekhle, we have written a figure. Ka tha? Ha, dekhle, dekhle, dekhle. At the mean position, the value of potential energy will be minimum. 
So whatever is the value of potential energy at the mean position, that is considered as the minimum value of potential energy. It is given that the potential energy PE at the mean position ka value de diya ki 50 joules hai. Theek hai? And we already know that whatever is the value of potential energy at the mean, that will be the minimum value of potential energy. Sahi mein aa gaya? Aa gaya? Got it? So the answer is option A and it's not C. Okay. Why you are leaving an academy? Bahut, bahut reasons. Okay. Agla. कर ले बच्चू कर ले बच्चू लोग उत्तर क्या है इसका इसी क्वेश्चन का उत्तर क्या है जल्दी फटाफट बता सब थोड़ा चमका था पूरा चमका ठीक <laughs> है बढ़िया बात है आसम और चमकाने के लिए आ गया आप लोगों को स, आ, अगला क्वेश्चन तो चमका दे सर वी टेक होम ट्यूशन अरे अरे नो 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 वन फिफ्टी है सर ओके जी आई इज ऑल्सो गोइंग फॉर ऑप्शन बी वेरी गुड सही है मेरा अच्छा लोग इट्स वन फिफ्टी ओके देख ले टोटल एनर्जी का वैल्यू एज बिफोर इट्स टू हंड्रेड जूस एंड वी ऑलरेडी नो Total energy is equal to potential energy plus uh, kinetic energy. Okay, fine. Potential energy at the mean position is given as 50 joules. So potential energy ka value 50 joules hai at mean. Find the maximum kinetic energy. And I tell me, where can we expect a maximum value of kinetic energy? Kaha? Kinetic energy will be maximum at mean position. So, when the question is about finding maximum value of kinetic energy, question is to find out kinetic energy at mean position. So, we can write total energy is equal to potential energy at the mean position, kitna hai? 50 plus kinetic energy at the mean position, which we don't know. Tell me total energy ka formula kya hai? 200 is equal to 50 plus kinetic energy. So kinetic energy at the mean position is 200 minus 50 ho jayega 150 joules. Sahi hai? Right? Nannu munnu. Ek aur question hai. And one more question is waiting for you. So just take it. मिथलेश ए लक्ष्मण बी जिया ए परदी मैं तो बिल्कुल बढ़िया थैंक यू सो मच नीति श्री सी वेरी गुड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी अरे क्वेश्चन इज एट द एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन पे पोटेंशियल एनर्जी क्या है वी ऑल नो व्हेन द पार्टिकल इज एट द एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन राइट एक्सट्रीम या लेफ्ट एक्सट्रीम राइट इट विल कीप ऑन मूविंग फ्रॉम द मेन पोजीशन टुवर्ड्स एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन the particle stops and change the direction of velocity. Matlab, the speed at the extreme position to zero ho jayega. Matlab, kinetic energy will be zero at the extreme position. Now, finding out potential is not a big task. Kyunki, total energy we know that is equal to potential plus uh, kinetic. Total energy is uh, 200. Potential energy at extreme humko pata nahi. Kinetic energy at extreme to zero hai. So, how much we get? पोटेंशियल जी तो मिल जाएगा 200 
ओके ओके एंड दैट वाज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टुडे मिथलेश प्रदीप लूसीफा जिया यस बहुत एटीट्यूड नहीं बेकार मिथियम मतलब क्या है मतलब क्या है अरे पूरा का पूरा लोग बोल रहे हैं सर टाइमिंग चेंज कर दो ना टाइमिंग चेंज कर दो ना ठीक है अगले हफ्ते से करेगा ठीक है फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट वीक ऑनवर्ड्स आई ट्राई टू चेंज द टाइम सही है ठीक है बढ़िया हैप्पी ओके कुछ नहीं सर लवेंडिया जिया आई होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग गुड सो वी हैव जो टू टॉपिक्स और बाकी है डैम द सिंपल हारमोनिक मोशन एंड फोर्स डेस एच एम वील बी डूइंग इन अदर क्लास ओके ना हाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट गेट स्कॉलरशिप फॉर योर कॉलेज टाइम ऑल्सो एन यू जॉइन योर कॉलेज इफ यू वॉन्ट गेट स्कॉलरशिप दिस इज योर टाइम यू कैन कम एंड राइट फॉर दी एन अकेडमी प्रोडिजी एग्जाम नेक्स्ट एग्जाम इज गोट हैपन ऑन फेब थर्टीन From 12 to 1 p.m. It is completely free if you use the code of A M B 10. Use the code get uh, into an academy prodigy exam completely for free. Now the test schedules and whenever it is being scheduled, you all can see this. Now uh, you can see that you can get amazing rewards for this if you get the first rank MacBook Air, second to third Apple iPhone, four to five Apple iPad. So don't miss it. Class 11 batch course is what you can see it here. So amazing teachers are waiting for you. So don't miss your classes. Then uh, this is for 12th classes, which is not needed for you people. So an academy free special class uh, features is what I'm uh, showing you here. And today at uh, 7:30 we have a special class on thermodynamics. You can come and join those who wish to. Okay. 7:30 we have a thermodynamic special class now uh, thank you everyone thank you so much very much hello lagta hai ki i hope you all understood all the concept so this is your time to show some love and move your cursor and click on that uh, like button theek hai and uh, do subscribe so that you'll get all the notification thank you dhanyawad mera bachcha log okay bye bye everyone by everyone jia lavanya preeti uh, lucifer mithilesh jo bhi idhar hai sab okay by everyone thank you so much thank you so much okay means a lot bye bye